pretty crazy. So it looks like at the live show, at the live show, there was a live show today, a Fig Munity World, right? Live show in New York. And it looks like they might have tried to set up academics. Academics went to the Fig Munity live show as a special guest. And it looks like they might have set him up. Now, I'm I'm not going to go too overboard of this because I feel like if you watch a lot of Fig Munity associated back on Fig shows, you'll know that one of the guys on there called Pun has a show called Let Me Cook where he invites um, fans to basically roast the host on like Discord and shit and he live streams it. I'm sure some of you have seen it. It's a really funny show and he just invites you to roast it, whatever and you go back and forth and you have a little discontent. So maybe this was part of the show. They did it in real life. But some fans in the crowd came up on the mic and basically started going at academics and one of the guys sounded like he went to fight act. So this is taken from the back on fig subreddit this clip is fucking wild the guy in the crowd is really basically trying to as a, as they say in la he's trying to mark act out so listen to this guy go crazy after act and there's act you see you see, i'm starting to believe i'm starting to believe I'm starting to believe what Charlemagne said. Because don't get me wrong, all these guys on stage are fat, right? You got Duno, Pun, AD, they're all really big dudes. But I think there's something about Act, the way he looks, the hunchback, the weird beard, the fucking fat boy skinny jeans, the awful fashion sense, such as that he just wears whatever he wears, right? Or he's got those awful fucking chat nigga box logo Supreme t shirts on. He just looks like the stereotypical, like, um, keyboard warrior. I think Charlemagne was right. So <clears throat> my comment would be this. Not only do I think Charlemagne Academics gets a lot of hate online because he's fat and looks the way he does. I also think people just aren't scared of academics. I think academics needs to put it... I've said it before. I think academics needs to just put it on somebody. He needs to fight one person. Fight one person, beat the fucking brakes off of them and everybody will respect him. It's sort of like... Do you guys remember when you were in school and there was a bully or maybe the bully was bullying you and you kept you kept felt really afraid you because i'm mean, gonna because usually in my school or if growing up in england a lot of the bullies where you grew up with were really shouty they'd like when you were younger you don't have to fight you you assumed if you were really shouty and you were really aggressive with your speech and you made a lot of noise that it made like it made it seem like you were really scary and you could fight and you're dangerous when really the reality was that person was scared to fight and they were just trying to scare you with their fucking tone of their voice so what would happen is that if you would fight back you'd say something back to that person or you'd punch them back. Usually they'd leave you alone forever because they were scared to fight. So I think academics has to do that. People keep marking him out. They keep testing him because he looks the way he does. Like he looks like a typical hip hop keyboard warrior type of person. So he needs to fight what he needs to fight one person. I don't care if it's fucking needle drop, if it's fucking Yatty, if it's Vink Mensa, whoever it is, he needs to fight somebody. He needs to put the beats on somebody. And then I think everybody will leave him alone but the way he looks and the way he carries himself it's just it's hard to respect somebody when they look like this he's you know he's he's not the most good looking guy in the world he's got that big fat face he wears horrible fucking hoodies and snapbacks he gets marked out by all the girls that he's with and stuff he shouts at women all these little things make him sound like a p-u-s-s-y so i think in order to fight back he needs to just fight somebody it doesn't matter who it is. Even if it's someone's mum, just beat them up. <laughs> and then he'd get respect forever. Because look at this. This is a live show with fans. And there's this fan that rocks up to Ak and is just barking at him. Fucking hell. We're gonna fuck that nigga in the ass. We're gonna put paws on that nigga. We're gonna pull his hair back like he's a bad bitch. And we're gonna clap them cheeks. We're gonna fuck this nigga. We're gonna put paws on him. No paws. <laughs> Look at Ak walking around. He's so nervous and scared. Look at him. Look at Ak, man. I feel so bad for him, man. Look, look, look how far back he's standing away from the, from the, from the. He doesn't want to have a moment. You know what? You know what I think with Ak as well. 
this is my theory. I'm saying this out loud. Maybe because Ak is so plugged into the internet and he and he covers all this stuff stuff on the, in, online. He's got a massive fucking platform, one of the biggest, if not the, the biggest hip hop platform. So he knows what's going on when it comes to fights and shit. He knows this could be a viral moment if the guy grabs his leg and pulls him off that stage and just puts the beats on him. So he's trying his best to stay as far away as possible from arm's reach from that guy. He doesn't want that. So I wonder if part of the reason why Ak is scared to fight because he knows if he does fight somebody, whoever he ends up fighting, they're going to record that shit. And that video will never, ever not get passed around. He will never be able to live it down if he loses, by the way. If he loses a fight and it's on video and there's a video of him getting slumped and he's on the floor trying to stand up and his butt cheeks are, he, you can see his ass crack and his butt cheeks and shit and he's all staggering. And he looks all fucking, you know, he's got that academic face when he's at, you know, all that shit. Like he's, gonna, he's not going to be able to live it down. So maybe that's why he doesn't want to fight. He's too scared of the of the negative ramifications of losing a fight, you know? That's probably his probably main thing. And, but I think that fear is holding him back. He needs just to fight somebody. It doesn't matter if you lose. People lose fights all the time. People get beaten up every single day. He, needs, he just needs to put the beats on somebody because you can't have people disrespecting you this in public. Hey, Mac, why have you seen this? Yeah, man. We and my, we and my dogs to kick some shit off, man. There ain't that scale. Look at them standing up. <laughs> Oh, look at academics. Look, 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 look how far back he is. This nigga Mac trying to see the look on his face. I think he said, Zoom in some more. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to hear academic side of things. When he gets on stream, I can't wait to hear what academics has to say about this. Need the off the rope, do a big off the ropes on that nigga. Oh man, look at him! I'm so I feel so bad for academics, man. Look at him. He's so scared. He's so fucking scared. Fuck. Anyway, academics got marked out live on stage, but that is a bit bad mind from fucking Fig Community World. Why are you gonna invite him as a guest and then have him get fucking rocked like that on stage? They should have took the mic off that guy instantly, turned his mic off. Like you can't be having your guests get treated like this. And also, this puts a lot of credence why academics is scared to like come to the West Coast and hang out with those guys because it looks like those guys are quite grimy. Cause if I'm not mistaken, the issue is here, as I got the video here, there's an issue here. There's a video here from Keem. Keem, um, one part of TDE. Um, I think he was, who is the manager for Keem? I forgot what manager he's for. I think he's manager for Schoolboy Q. But he's also just part of the TDE crew. And um, allegedly, the reason why that happened, he basically divulged the reason. He fucking, you know, stitched on himself. He got on stream, Keem, and basically said he in part, I guess, set it up, the whole thing, because of Academics' beef with Scissor. So Academics has had a little back and forth with Scissor. You know how Academics is with women. He fires off the hip with her. He says some crazy shit about fucking um, Scissor. And I guess, you know, the TDE camp didn't take that too likely. And they've hold, held a grudge. And I guess they then got their goons <clears throat> in the West, East Coast in New York to go to the show and put it on fucking Academics. And basically Keem admits it on this fucking stream, which is kind of crazy to admit. But anyway, let's hear him talk about it. DF out there performing in that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? He the one sent the niggas that act. <laughs> yeah, Apollo wasn't feeling that, nigga. Yeah, had to holler at a couple of our extended family members. That was Kim TDE breaking down that even oh, though- Oh, no, no, not Flucker. We don't want to hear Flucker talk about it, please. We don't want to hear Flucker. We don't want to hear Flucker. No, 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 no. We're going to get another clip. I don't want to hear fucking Flacco talk about it, please. No, 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 no. Let's let's get another clip. Let's get another clip. You got you got Flacco there. I know who did it. I know. Pointing as well. He's so ha fucking happy to snitch. Let's get somebody else. There we go. Let's get the clear one. You know, that's why I'm be getting smacked, be yelling his TD, got TD on the side of his neck, and and he swear he like, you know, he love act and all the shit and everything. And act cool. No diss, no, no, whatever, but it's fuck him. It's you know. He go get a Stone Cold Stunner. 
Stone Cold Stunner will be administered. You know, DF out there performing in that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? He the one sent the niggas that act. <laughs> yeah. Apollo wasn't feeling that, nigga. Yeah. Had to holler at a couple of our extended family members. Someone said Brandon says translation. Translation is this. Academics, this guy on stage, had been saying some mean things about SZA, an R&B singer who's signed to the label TDE, formerly Kendrick Lamar's old label before he went quote-unquote independent. The guy that you see here early, this dude here, his name is Keem. He's part of TDE, the same label as SZA. When he heard what academics said about SZA, he wasn't too happy. So, allegedly, Keem is admitting on this video that he got some of his goons from the East Coast in New York to turn up to this live show where academics was going to be at and say all these mean things to academics in retaliation to what academics said about SZA, the R&B singer. Do you understand now? That's basically it in like a normal, uh, normal non-colloquial speak, right? Non, no, normal non-nigger speak. That's basically what happened. Yeah, press that nigger. Hey, you throw that scandal, you Hey, Mac, why have you seen this? Yeah, man. Yeah, my, yeah, my dogs to kick some shit off, man. Anyway, anyway you, you get a gist, isn't it? You get a gist. So, um, that's what happened. I feel bad for academics. He didn't deserve that, to be fair. Um, obviously, it's probably it's probably um, inevitable that academics is going to get beaten up at some point. You know, he just talks too reckless, unfortunately. And I just think in the hip-hop space, you know, there's just too much fucking pride and ego and, you know whatever to take that kind of level of criticism from somebody that looks at like academics i think that's his problem he looks the way he does so when it comes out that he you know how do, how do you say that yeah because academics looks the way he does when he says stuff about people they just never it can never sit right with them because he looks like a dweeb or like a dork you know like like i said keyboard warrior type so they take it even more as an offense but really and truly i feel like if academics wants to really do what he does double down and if i was him you're never gonna be tough. He's always he's always he's already proved it, right? He got on stream and cried because he's he was imagining the prospect of him getting beaten up by Sosa Santana and getting fucked. I can understand the fucked bit is obviously horrible, but he's more so he was scared about losing a fight to Sosa Santana. So we already know he doesn't want to fight. He's just a scaredy cat, right? It is what it is. Not not all men are meant to fight like that. He can fight with his words, no problem. So if I was him, just stay at home. Stay at home. Have security. Don't go nowhere, like nowhere where hip hop rappers are going to be and just talk your shit online. It's not a problem. But he wants to do all the things. He wants to be tough. He wants to be everywhere. He wants to pretend like he's not scared when he is. You, can't, you have to really choose a lane. You can't be the bully and the victim. You have to choose. And at the moment, he's the victim. And just be okay with being a victim because he's a fucking millionaire doing what he does at the moment. He's one. He's going to be, you know, he, he's got a good role being a media person because he do, all he does is basically respond to the news that's going on. He doesn't have to create anything really original. Um, There's no real, I, I wouldn't say creativity behind it, but you know what I mean? Like he's got, he could have a longer career being a media journalist than a rapper because he's still going to be around in maybe 10, 20 years. Just folk double down on what you do. Have have security. Stay at home. Stream. Talk your shit on stream, and then keep it moving. You don't need to be in and amongst things and prove you're tough because you're not. Because I've got a feeling if he tries to step, because I would like for him to step outside, put the beats on somebody, and then kind of shut everybody up. Because I feel like a lot of them kind of bully him because they know they can, because they know he's not going to fight back. But I also have a feeling that he's so pussy. If he tried to fight somebody he might get really beaten up because once he gets, he's the kind of person who I think legitimately has never been punched in the face once. And people like that, when you don't get punched in the face once, when you get punched for once, it can really change your whole reality. You know what I mean? It can make you fucking, it can just make you so scared. Like, so I feel like he's going to have that kind of reaction. If he gets punched in the face once, it'll just completely shatter him and you won't know what to do. So I don't want him to do that. So maybe just stay at home, stream and do your thing, right?